All right, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Uh, this is episode six, I believe. And in the last episode, we what did we do? We opened up, we finished Freeze Easy Peak, opened that up, and then we unlocked episode six, Gobi's Valley. So we are going to go there now, actually. Uh, there's a door here that I left. I didn't know. You could say it was an accident because it totally was, but it could also be on purpose because here's some waiting boots. Pop these babies on and we're on our way to adventure. Pop up these annoying stairs. And we're able to walk across this quicksand and enter Gobi's Valley. It's around that time. Now we're good. Here's level 6, Gobi's Valley, and if you turn around right away, you can play one more move in here, Banjo. Yeah, this is our last move. Plus there's a Jinjo right there, so uh, yeah, don't forget about him. There's a tree here. What's up? Trucker wants rain. Gas, I'm shriveling up. How's your nuts, Bark Breath? Zooey! Will eggs and feathers help? No. <laughs> Need water and help. So we should hydrate. You don't get that joke that Kazooie just made right there, and then, uh. So, anyways, this is Gobi's Valley. Uh, might be wondering who's Gobi. Uh, well, we're gonna see who's, who Gobi is pretty soon here. Uh, this is an Egyptian themed level. Catching up on that. Only we sand eels can survive in here. Yeah, no shit. Just to damage. Um, I haven't really played this level in a while, so everything's kind of like um, hard to remember. Let's see if I can uh, piece it together here. So here we have a sphinx who looks. Oddly familiar. By those is all blocked up. Something that he said sniff. Hey, that tickles. So we shoot some eggs in his nose. This dude just sneezes and it opens a door because reasons. Ah, that's clear. Shoots his nose. Come on in. Yeah, then he lets us inside of him. Cool. Uh, one thing you don't want to forget is there are four single notes in each corner of this room. Um, pick those up or you're going to be wondering where they are later on. I want to take that damage from the hand because I don't really care. Uh, and here is another puzzle. Basically, you see a banjo, you got to shoot some eggs into his mouth. Uh, or nose. Basically the face. Feed him. We go up here. Don't forget this Jinjo right here. And don't forget to be good with your jumps. I tried to be quick. Oh, okay. Let's go idiot. Yeah. Eat some eggs. You like those eggs, huh? Fast enough, we can jump over here at a weird angle. To continue our egg shooting adventure. And the carpets get smaller each time, but it's not that big of a deal. There we go. After this little puzzle platforming section, we are rewarded with a nice, nice jiggy. That marks our first one for this world. leave here real quick and I'm trying to think here I think I'm going to come up here and fly yeah I think that's I think that's good so here we have more banjo statues believe it or not um, don't land uh, this is kind of simple, just fly through the hoop. 
summon all the hidden rings of the ancients to be the witch. Yeah, so we're gonna do this to summon ancient power so we can defeat the uh, Grunty. This is not that hard of a puzzle, just fly in a pattern. They all kind of lead, you know why? If you take the right path, they won't face what way you, know, you need to fly. So it works perfectly. Uh, where was that at? Oh, right here. Duh! Let's go through here. I think that's the last one. Only joking, mortal. We can only give you this. Thank you. Said uh, F you. And we're rewarded with Jiggy. While we're flying, we are going to come over here to the circle cactus. The only cactus here. Nothing in it yet, I forgot. Okay, oops. There's this Kazooie statue. I'm gonna do that real quick. Real quick, like. Um, so, aim yourself up. Knock yourself into that. Pretty self explanatory. And I think it's easy if you just kind of land here, and then go into Talon Trot, and you're in. Not your in. Put these notes on the side. That's another thing that I uh, kind of miss. Oh shit! Hello, my friend. I am Ruby. Can I be of some help? No. We're looking for treasure, pipe boy. Very good. I see some up there. It's yours if you can get it. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna get it. But your little dog thing right there is kind of cool. I like him. How much for the dog? Oh, I, I forget his name. Uh, the little thing. So what you want to do is stand on here and shit eggs to this. You'll see a snake. Uh, he'll kind of be summoned, I guess. I don't know. Eggs. Turn him on. See if you can snipe all those. Ah! A thousand thanks, my friend. This step will now help you with your quest. Stretches up. For a long amount of time. Grab the jiggy. I think you could climb on him actually. Yeah, you could climb on him, so. You don't have to stand on top like I did. That's our second jiggy already. Before we get. Uh, we go pick up our third one. We can easily. Easily. Talk to bottles. These are the running shoes. Beaky wears them on her scrawny feet to make her run really fast for a limited time. Your energy is a little low. Alright, Bottles, you'll need to rub it in. Well played, Banjo. You've now learned all the moves in the game. Yeah, there's not nearly enough moves in this game, if I'm being honest. It's uh, kind of disappointing. I think there's four more worlds left. And we're done with all the moves. Like I've been saying, the next game makes up for that greatly because, you know, they double everything, you know. It's what a sequel should be. Bigger, better. Um, uh, there's a puzzle you're supposed to do here with the running shoes, but... I am going to come up here normally the first time. So there's a bunch of collectibles and it's a lot easier to get them all if you're, uh, and make it in the door. Uh, pretty go in there. So there's running shoes right here, and these make us pretty fast, not too fast, but I'm gonna show you. Son of a bitch, I knew I was gonna do that. <laughs> Alright. Um, well, after you failed that, come back here and grab the running shoes again. Don't do that. Don't do that either. And down here, actually, there is a puzzle. No, I've had that a thousand years. Well done, mortal. Yeah. Uh, this guy, if you come up to him normally, he'll like uh, go away as soon as you get close. But the running shoes, you're like 0.5 seconds faster. I don't know what you can get them. I don't really know how that works, but it's probably the coding in the game if you have the. Uh, running shoes, then 
you can get the Jiggy. Unless you miss, like I almost did. You saw. Take the waiting boots. Come down here and grab all these notes. So I don't know why they put this here. They did, so. <clears throat> we gotta deal with that. Not bad, not bad. We're making good time. I think this is like... I want to say the last easy world to go through. Like the rest might be... The other three might be two partners. Put the running shoes here, grab them. When it comes to this side, click the switch, which you could just run over. And it's a time trial. Get to the top. And, uh, you know, I hope you're fast enough. But that's why we have uh, our running shoes. We're sprinting. We're zooming. If you do it right, you can kind of cut corners. That's why I went through and picked up the notes first, because it's uh, kind of easy to miss. And yeah, see, even cutting corners, we make it with two seconds. And now we're here. Wait, don't forget that Momo token. It's not very important, but why, why not? The more, the merrier. And what's this? Is that my oh, arms? Okay. All right, stop. Swim, banjo. Thank you. Okay, I'm waiting for these a holes to go. We're gonna collect this. Once we collect this, uh, everything gets drained. The water flows out of the temple into what used to be quicksand and it's filling up the water. So now we can access that. Right, now that we don't have to swim all stupid like we can uh, collect all this booty in here. And yeah, if you uh, don't know who this is, it's, I think that's Mario. I think they're paying tribute. I mean, he didn't die or anything, but... Gotta recognize the other greater games. So, now what? Now, what we need to do is come over here. No, nope, not there. Yeah, here. Another banjo statue, and what do we do to banjo statues? We shoot some eggs in his mouth. Oh, multiple eggs, apparently. He feasts upon them. starts to grow magically. Then this guy's like, hey, I'm hungry too. So now you have to feed the whole family. Grab that. Grab that. Make sure to pick up these notes. Could be easily forgettable. Not done right. Since we're over here, we're going to do this. Uh, not miss the note. Come back here, and there is a switch, but it's not like the other switches where you can run over them. You can click on it, and then it does what I was going to do earlier. But the single cactus holds a single honeycomb, empty honeycomb piece. And up here is another pyramid. And we'll do it now. We're not busy. Yeah, you can cheat like half of it um, in the time trial. So, not a big deal. It's not like the last one. <laughs> that leads us here. I'm actually going to kill this guy because I didn't know you could kill the mummies all this time. And then slap on this and we've got everybody's favorite matching puzzle. That's my matching skills. So far, we're kind of doing shitty. Oh my god. That was a feather. This was a feather too, wasn't it? No. This was... No, that was Kazooie. That was a no. Okay. A feather. No, that's no. Oh, jeez. Jinjo. Okay. Banjo. This was Banjo. No, this was Banjo. No, that was Egg. There's Kazooie. It's a feather! There's Mumbo. Feather. 
Let's get zero goes down. Blue egg. Blue egg. Banjo. Honeycomb. Banjo. Kazooie, which one is Kazooie? This one? Yeah, and then... Drew on this one has notes. And notes. And we completed the puzzle. With 14 seconds to spare. Should've had more, but, um... It's, it's the weekend. I'm allowed to be dumb. Okay. So now we're done with this place. Before we leave this little area, we're making good time here. There is magic carpet here that we're going to leap on. Okay, maybe not. We're not going to leap on. Oh, okay, I thought I glitched. Uh, yeah, here's Gobi. He didn't get to talk for some reason, but we free him because he's in captivity. Here's your reward, Bear. Gobi's off to cool down. That line's important. Every line of Gobi is important. They use that. Wow. Wait, 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 wait. Dumb, it's dumb, it's dumb. Yeah. Well, shoot, I'm about to die. Okay, I thought he was gonna wreck me. That was pretty easy. Um, where is the second one? I think it goes around the other way. Might as well just collect all these notes for now. Where's it at? It's right here, isn't it? Yup. Hold it. What's up, dude? Feed him his blue pebbles, because everybody in this game just loves blue pebbles. It seems to fix everything. And the pyramid grows a little bit more. Another banjo statue comes out. Actually gonna swim down here real quick and just pick this stuff up. Um, just because these notes could be easily missed. Um, on the Nintendo 64 version, it's easy to miss. Like one of these. And a Jinjo, apparently. I didn't know that. So once you collected all of these, which should be one more wall. I'm at two, two more walls. Yeah. Once you've completed all that, then we're gone in this area. We just gotta come to the skinniest of platforms. Like that makes any difference. Flap our wings up here. It's actually a lot closer too. So yeah. Look at that. Either I'm the best sniper in the world, or that was just too easy. And the pyramid is revealed. Yay! If the do da. There's actually something in here that's kind of... Uh, uh, I don't know. It's not really frustrating, I guess. Just walk in here. This is King Sandy Butt's tomb. Turn back or face his wrath. But you know what? Fuck you, okay? I'll face anything. He locks the door and then you got 60 seconds. It's a maze. But it's not too difficult. Yes. There is something we gotta do though. So let's see if we can get it. I think there are running shoes somewhere also. Yeah, here it is. The witch switch, which opens the sarcophagus right there. Which has a jiggy, which is what I was gonna exploit a while back. By jumping. Uh, you can glitch through frames, I guess. Yeah, it's not that hard of a puzzle. Get right here and you complete it. You can go back in. The front door locks, but you get 60 more seconds. I just want to see what's over here real quick. That there's cool. Over here. I don't think there's anything. There's shoes somewhere, I know. I'm not going the right way. But, I mean, as you can see, the shoes aren't really... That helpful. So 
once you walk in here. Grab all your money. And... Boom! Another Jiggy. What is that? Seven already. We're making good time. And you can hear whistling. That's because there's a Jinjo in here. Somewhere. This one? Yeah. And that's the last Jinjo, so we're at eight. So we only have two more Jiggies, and if you remember... Uh, well, two more Jiggies and a... Uh, two empty honeycomb pieces, but we know where one of those are. So we're making good time on this world. I guess... Now... Hey, find some health. So I am, I'm actually about to die. So we always take the riskiest jumps when I'm about to die. I don't know why. So. Let's just flap our wings up here, grab our jiggy. We're pretty much set up for success here. There's only one left, but I think we all know what that is. Itself. He wants some water because he's shriveled and his nuts aren't doing too good apparently. So yeah, fly through that, not that hard. Uh, I'm actually going to kill this guy. Because I'm a little low on health and I don't like being low on health. As well as I'm going to snipe this. No. Apparently eggs don't have that range. Run through here. Get these guys all mad at me. Now that we're nice and healthy and I feel comfortable running around freely in this world. Uh, we're gonna come over here. The running shoes are just so easy to uh, get around. Down here and look, it's go talk to us yeah this tree looks a bit thirsty but I need all my water for myself yeah well we're gonna get rid of that for you is this dude shriveled he needs help ah uh, lovely water trunker feels great and he grows tall for some reason but not like tall enough to climb on or do this I think you gotta go on these trees and then flap your wings over here. That's how I've always done it. I think that's the way it's supposed to be done. That completes this world. Uh, just one more uh, thing to do real quick. We uh, have a little bit of notes over here. And we only got one empty on the cookie, so we're still missing one. this. Was that carpet slow AF? But here's Gobi again. He's chilling over here. Just fly up over him and slap him and he spits out an empty other piece. Bah! That's it. I'm leaving this desert to find some peace and quiet. Yes you are, Gobi. We will find you. We will kill you. And we get another piece of health. That's good. Now we're up to, what, eight? Yeah. So fun fact about this room, it's actually sealed in the Nintendo 64 version. Because, um, this is another stocking swap item. It only gets unlocked, uh, when you finish the game 100%, I believe. This is the Xbox version, so of course it's open. So, there's nothing else in here. I already got the egg. But now we're kind of forced to wait for... Uh, this. Almost fell off. Because we need to collect the last of the... Uh, notes, which are conveniently on this path right here that leads straight to the exit. Four, 95, 96, Mumbo token, that's totally useless. 7, 8, 99, and 
100. And that being said, that's it with Gobi's Valley. Make sure we, uh, we got everything. I'll just check real quick to make sure. Yep. 24 minutes, not bad. Okay. Oh, I wasn't on the pad apparently. So we can exit the. Grab these boots so we can get back. Got this a hole in the way. Go and touch you though, because you're basically invincible. To the AI. And there's also mummies here. Which make it more realistic, but it's not much. So here's the jiggy. You can't get it, but you can actually get it if you do this. I said you could actually get it if you do this. Yeah. You just use the spring pad and jump over there, but that's a cool little trick to use. And that concludes episode 6 with Gobi's Valley. So in the next episode, we'll, we'll unlock the next level and do that, complete it, you know, on the jazz. So thanks, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitch in the description. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.